a year on and we're now standing outside the City Hall in Belfast. The flag is still not up, but the people are still here. The sooner our politicians waking up to the fact that unless this flag goes back up, this is not going to stop. The IRA now are planting bombs, what, a few hundred yards up the road here, um, just during the week. They planted a device in Cross Midland. It took them four days, four days, to go in and discover a hoax device, and they tell us we have peace. This flag apparently doesn't matter. We shouldn't worry about it. Well, if it doesn't matter, why is it not back up? The reason it's not back up because the IRA cannot stand to sit under the flag of this country. That is the reality. But they're going to have to learn to live with it because we are not going away. This issue is not going away. And the sooner the IRA waking up to that fact and the sooner our politicians... And the other thing is, Mr Ford talks about uh, protesters breaking the law. Have we a right to protest or do we not have a right to protest? We either live in a democratic society or we don't. You cannot put a time frame on a right to protest and a right not to protest. In a democratic society, you either have the right or you don't. So Ford, you come down this morning and spend our hard-earned money because you certainly didn't earn it because you're used to, you're good for nothing. And the sooner we get rid of people like you, the sooner we can sort the situation out in this country. We're not going anywhere, folks, until that flag goes back up or else we get the IRA out of that building and put the flag back up ourselves. One way or the other, that flag will go up. Billy, you're here today. I think it's about a year from I've seen you in the same place. Yeah, it is, Willie. You know, we've been here from 3rd of December and we'll stand here with the people. That's this is about. I mean, this is our democracy. We're entitled to have, you know, a rally or a protest. Uh, and it seems to me that if you're in the IRA, you can plant bombs at the Victoria Centre, scare people out of the city centre, and then it's blamed on rallies. It's carried out by the Protestant people. Well, would you agree with me? The fact is peaceful protest. We have a democratic right to have a peaceful protest, but it seems to be that these other boys can plant bombs, especially in Cross Midland. There took four days for the win at Lear Hoax device. Is that peace? Well, I mean, these are all the problems that we have around the whole notion of security. Uh, and, you know, the people who are demonised are us. You know, it's the Protestant people that gets demonised. And you think that we were carrying out acts of terrorism, we're not. We're carrying out acts of peaceful protest, which is our democratic right. And in every Western democracy in the world, they all agree that that's what it's about. I mean, you know, if you don't agree with something, then you're entitled to protest about it. And that's what we're doing. Nobody's here to get involved in violence. Nobody's here... Uh, to chase shoppers out of the town. Shoppers are quite free to come into the town and nobody's putting any pressure on them to stay away, other than the IRA. Well, the other thing, Matt Baggett has said that the UVF, the UDA, is behind organising this. Now, he seems to be able to talk about them organising uh, peaceful protests, but he doesn't seem to know who's planting the bombs in around the countryside. Well, I mean, I think that's the, diff- the difficulty. I think it, you know, the police need to actually start policing. They need to have priorities around policing, and I think it, you know, acts of terrorism has to be top of that. But the difficulty with this is, Willie, you know, once people start treating you like white trash and you continue to treat you white trash, my anger is that the Democratic uh, members of Parliament, members of the Assembly and councils are saying nothing. And it's about time, you know, we had Martin McGuinness standing up shouting about the UVF organising the protest when it's been organised by the people, uh, and we didn't hear one unionist voice of discontent. Well, I have to agree with you. Today went very, very well. See, after all the doom and gloom that the media put out all week long about there's going to be trouble here, there's going to be nobody in the town, etc, etc, etc. Today was a big success. The town was absolutely buzzing with people, buzzing with people in doing their shopping, buzzing with people who took part in this here parade. The only downside that I might say that we had today was whenever we come onto the Cumberland Road, whoever made the call and the policing call could have cost somebody their lives. So they could have, more so the policemen that got caught in the middle, they could have lost their lives as well. Stupidity. We not let the police ruin what for us is a successful day. So we're not. We might get the, the flag back up on the, the short term, but we'll go for the long term. So we will because our motto has always been no surrender. Yes. Yeah.